Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about object-oriented programming, classes and objects, dog, the dog class, and we're going to create our first class, uh, dog, and, and use that class. And then we're going to talk about what encapsulation is. So, what is object-oriented programming? Well, the truth is we could go on hours and hours and days upon days about what is object-oriented programming and the theories behind it. Uh, we only have five minutes, you know, per video or so, so um, you know, we're going to learn as we go, but for right now, just think of this. Uh, you know, as, as our projects and programs get larger and larger and we start working with, you know, team members and things like that, um, we, we need a way to program that is simple for us to understand and make it simple on us. And really, object-oriented programming is just to do that, make it more simple for us as a programmer. So, um, what are classes and objects? Well, classes and objects and object-oriented programming just kind of models the way humans think. So, for instance, a class would be possibly, you know, a category. So we have a dog category or class, maybe a person category or class, you know, and um, so probably best to, to see this as an example. Um, I have a dog, his name is Panda. All dogs really share the same type of traits. They may have a name, they might be male or female, they might have a weight, my dog, you know, is 92 pounds. Um, there could be a lot more, um, you know, fur color, whatever. Um, ultimately, these are uh, the member variables, okay? They're kind of like the, the traits of the class. Um, now, dog, I mean, dogs can also perform actions, and these are, you know, member methods. So, for instance, uh, in our class, we have programmed two methods um, that, you know, one is a bark, or, or is to bark, and the other one's to eat, okay? Uh, pretty simple. One passes in, you know, a variable here, a parameter, and uh, and ultimately we use that. And you can kind of figure out what's going on there. But you know, just to get the gist of it, we have classes or categories, um, and they can, you know, we model these categories or classes after, you know, the real world, you know, categorization. So uh, let's go ahead and see how we actually use a dog class. Here we create a, uh, you know, the dog named Panda. And we, you know, say it's a new dog. And then we use the, uh, you know, we say panda dot, and then its method, which is, you know, here we're calling bark. And that's going to, you know, perform this. So we'll run this, and we'll see it barks five times in a row. Woof, woof, you know. So that's pretty much, pretty much it. And um, so let's talk about, you know, what is encapsulation. And it might make it a little more clear why we use object-oriented programming. Um, We'll, we'll use a different example this time. Just say we're programming a website. Uh, we have a team of, you know, two people, and we're using, you know, our, our friend is John, and he's another programmer. We want to, um, you know, know the address of, of you know, our members or, or people. Um, or, yeah, we want to know the address. So ultimately, what we, what John is going to be programming um, a person class, okay, and that's going to essentially let us type person dot address to get our to get the address of the person. Now we really don't care, uh, you know, how it's implemented. Just say we're at first we're 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 small, so John programs the address just to pull it from a simple text file. That's great, you know, everything's working and. Uh, you know, our website's growing, and then, you know, six months down the road, we, we realize, you know what, this, this text file thing isn't going to work anymore. We need to make it, uh, you know, we need to put this in a database. Uh, ultimately, because of encapsulation, uh, we hide that, you know, what's called implementation. Um, John can go ahead and, you know, instead of having the addresses pulled from a text file, we can put that in a database. And no, and basically, our part of the program, we just type people or person dot address or whatever. Um, and no matter what you know, uh, John is doing inside the class, we're still going to get you know the same the, uh, the information that we want. And that's really what encapsulation is. You're hiding the the implementation, the private implementation uh, of how that class is implemented. We have a, essentially a contract with that class on. You know what, if we ask for the address, we're going to get the address every time, no matter where we're pulling it from. And that's really the, the idea behind encapsulation. And, you know, obviously if, if, you know, every time John changed the address and we had to update our, our program, 
that would be a giant headache, especially as, you know, things got more and more complex. So that's, again, that's really the, the fundamental idea behind encapsulation is to keep all of that, you know, implementation private so that, you know, if we call a person or, you know, what the address, it's gonna, we're going to get an address. So that's pretty much it for today's lesson. Um, I, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you have any questions about, you know, this object-oriented programming stuff as we go along, please go ahead and post, you know, a comment to, uh, you know, either YouTube or Nextstar TV. Um, and, you know, just let us know what you think, and we'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow, okay? All right, thanks, guys.